Thank you. Today we're going to demonstrate how to take an alginate impression. We're going to take a maxillary and a mandibular impression and we're going to do a wax bite. We first assemble the necessary armatarium. We have our alginate, we have our bowls, um, we have two bowls for our powder, we have two bowls for our water, we have our water measured out at room temperature, we have our wax, we have gauze for drying, we have our skill assessment book out, and then a, an assortment of different tray sizes and some wax that we're gonna put onto the tray. The first thing we're gonna do, we have three increments of water for the maxillary impression. We have two increments of water for the mandibular impression. That's going to go with two scoops in this bowl. In this bowl we have two scoops and I'm going to show you how to put the third in there because we need to fluff the powder. Open the alginate. When we scoop the alginate, we're going to tap so that the powder goes evenly into the scooper. Then there's our third scoop. Now we're going to move into the clinic and take some impressions. But this is the armatarium that we need to get started. We are going to first demonstrate trying in the tray. Trying the maxillary tray first. sure that it's not hanging up on the teeth in the back. That fits well. Then I have the mandibular tray. I'm going to try that in. Just gently moving her lips out of the way. Lift your tongue up. That fits well too. Doesn't bind. Doesn't catch on any teeth. I am putting wax on the back of both of the trays to make it a little more comfortable give it a little bit of an extension Put that on the mandibular which we're going to do first and then on the maxillary just kind of add it to that back edge the posterior edge of that tray right. we're going to do the mandibular first we have our water we're going to pour the powder into the water that's very important two scoops for the band powder into water going to mix it up, get it all wet. You want to move fairly quickly. Scooping it all up, kind of mushing it into the side to get all the bubbles out and make sure it's thoroughly mixed. Up, put it into the tray, load the tray, a little bit more, and we have to remember to dry the teeth off first. So I'm going to use my gauze to dry the teeth off. Then I'm going to add just a little bit of my extra alginate to the occlusal surface. And then the tray in, lift your tongue over your mouth, kind of get it in position, and then we're holding it in there for about a minute. And just testing a little longer, almost there. You want to be sure to hold it in place so that if they swallow it doesn't make the impression rise up and distort it. You want to hold it here and kind of slide it out. And there's the mandibular impression. Now we're going to do the maxillary impression. We have three increments of water, three scoops of powder. We're going to mix the powder to the water. And again, mixing so that it's all saturated and wet. And we're kind of scooping it up. And just mushing it against the side, for lack of a better word.
so it's nice and smooth without bubbles. As few bubbles as you can get in touch. I'm going to put it in the tray, more towards the front of the tray. And I'm going to get the gauze. Try off your teeth. Stay open, please. I'm going to put a little bit on the occlusal surfaces. We're going to stand from the back and put this in. I'm going to set the back first and then roll it forward. Lean forward, please. And I'm going to hold it here in the premolar area. I have it seated in the back. There's a little bit of pressure from my arm onto her head, kind of holding it in place. I want any excess to slide towards the front or be up in the vestibule. About a minute till it sets. I'm kind of holding it but feeling it. You'll notice for the maxillary I'm standing behind. For the mandibular I stood in front. Don't forget to dry the teeth before you put it in. And then put some extra alginate on the occlusal surfaces. And I'm going to come around. I'm going to put my finger under here. Kind of pop the seal. And we've got a good maxillary impression. We didn't get too much that was going down the back. A little bit, but not too much going down the back. She did a great job. Not all patients are that cooperative. So. Once we take the alginate impressions, we will come to the lab and we will put them in the bleach solution for 10 minutes. They will soak in the bleach solution for 10 minutes, and then we will be able to handle them in the laboratory situation. After they have been taken out of the bleach, we will rinse them off in water and we will continue to pour them up.